Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. Today we are talking about the Aritzia Boxing Day Sale 2019. So the date this is posted is going to be Monday, December the 23rd. I just want to give you guys a big heads up that the Aritzia Boxing Day Sale does start, well, I'm not confirmed, but in the past, like, many, many years. Now, it's started on December 24th. So you are going in stores tomorrow, so December 24th, Christmas Eve. It should have started online and it should have started in stores now. I just wanted to make this really quick announcement because I know a lot of you guys are wondering when the Boxing Day sale is and it'll typically be, obviously Christmas, everything is closed but you can probably shop online. And then on Boxing Day in Canada, it's the 26th, but the sale typically starts on the 24th. So you can do your shopping ahead of time and beat the crowds if you really want to, or place those online orders and basically secure the sizes that you have. I also wanna mention, typically Aritzia Boxing Day sales, there's no clientele. I know a lot of people are asking about that too. There's only like two clienteles a year. It is the spring summer one and then the one in Black Friday. Those are the only two and the best clientele is obviously the earlier one which is the spring summer clientele right before the big spring summer sale. So that's the best time and the only time you ever get a gift is the spring summer clientele. So you don't get a gift any other time you shop throughout the year. That's the only time you get one gift if you are invited and you are offered a gift. Like not everyone is offered a gift. I don't know how clear that is or unclear that is for people, but I think people get like ahead of themselves and freak out when they watch videos and see that people are receiving gifts and then they're not receiving gifts and they're wondering why they're not receiving gifts. That's the reason, because you were not invited to get a gift. Usually you get gifts only if you are like, I think like one of their more frequent shoppers, but I don't know how that all works out because I don't work for them. No idea how they tally ho who gets what and who gets what gift and crap like that. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to mention that to clear up any like questions. Um, I do have videos about the clientele sale in the past that you can watch if you guys are interested, but Boxing Day sale is just a public sale. Things will probably discount from like 50% to probably $5 and not everything is gonna get a good discount. That's just how the Aritzia sale works, unfortunately. Here are my top five picks that you guys should check out if you are going Boxing Day shopping and you wanna pick yourself something a little cute. I can't guarantee and I have no idea how much these items are going to discount, but regardless of price, I do highly recommend these items because they are so worn in my wardrobe now for this like winter season. I've worn it such a ton that even if you picked it up regular price, I think it would have been worth it. First things first, this, Thias cardigan, love the Thias cardigan. It now is called something else. I will list it and it also comes with three buttons instead of the two. This is the one I own, it's the old one because this is from when I used to work there and it just has the two buttons but I believe there is like three buttons now which is very similar to my next item that I recommend. I'll talk about the other item in a little bit but I really recommend this cardigan because it's a really nice cropped cardigan. It also looks good. I've like featured it in so many videos, buttoned up and then like noth worn nothing underneath and then just having like the jewelry layered underneath. And then I also like wearing it like this as a regular cardigan over top my little camisoles and then making a really nice casual outfit. So first recommendation. My second recommendation is this Irving sweater by Babaton. This is newer and it is, it came out this year and it's actually such a hot commodity. A lot of people have been buying it and it's been selling out really, really well, I guess. Cause like every time I try to order it, it was like, canceling my order but this one has a three button closure it's also not as deep of a v because this one the 
the thighs obviously is like a deeper V. Once again, the thighs has changed now, so it does have three buttons, but if you can find the regular original thighs, I recommend going for that one instead, just because this one and this one is like quite similar. This has like more billowy sleeves, the thighs, and this one is more of a um, regular, regular cardigan. The Irving is a little bit more wooly. It's also not as oversized. I wear an extra small in both of them and this one doesn't look as oversized as the thighs. If I were to only pick one, I definitely would go with a thighs just because I think it's a little bit more dressed up and elevated. I don't know. I think it just looks a lot nicer with the billow sleeves and this one is a lot more relaxed and comfortable. If you hear a lot of like scratching in the background, Harley is sitting right behind the camera. I really recommend these two items. I love wearing this as well the same style with a high a high waisted pair of jeans and then nothing underneath and a layered necklace but then it's also nice because you can use it as a regular cardigan Continuing on with sweaters, I highly, highly recommend this one too. This is the pearl cardigan. It's so cute. I have a lot of girls um, asking me how to wear this because it is not a cropped length and it's actually a full length sweater, but it's like the weirdest, like just the weirdest cut. I tuck mine in and that way it looks nice in my high-waisted jeans. I never wear under anything underneath. I don't know what it looks like with a camisole underneath. That's just not my style. I prefer to wear it with nothing underneath or like a bralette, having that peek out. But I know a lot of girls have been asking me because they work in offices and they want to wear this cardigan. And my only recommendation would be to just throw a camisole that's like tight-fitting underneath because you want this button detail to be like the star of the show and I personally like the look of having the skin peek through because like it's a little bit like ooh you know but I know that's not very office appropriate so unfortunately I have no real recommendations for you guys except to throw a camisole underneath or just don't wear it to the office because it's like a classy but sexy cardigan. It wouldn't be a Boxing Day Winter Aritzia recommendation if I skipped this sweater because it even got its own Aritzia Basics episode. Ladies and gentlemen, the Montpellier. I don't know how much more I have to say about this thing. Like, the sweater is just so chic. The material is really nice and light, but keeps you warm. I don't know, the wool is just so nice. And if you were going to get anything in the Aritzia sale, try finding a Montpellier. Sometimes the like more strange colors go on sale for like half off. You typically like the reds and like the weird colors go on sale, but sometimes you can find really nice colors on sale. This one usually doesn't really go much of a sale, but honestly the Montpellier is such a goodie. Throw this with some high-waisted jeans as well. Throw over a, a slip skirt and you look good to go. A little bit of a strange item. This item is not necessarily a classic and it's definitely not very practical in the winter. And holiday season is technically over, but there is still New Year's. So pick yourself up the Mayday dress. I'm so in love with this dress. My sister loved it. She wore it to her holiday party in the navy blue color because I wouldn't lend her this one. And I honestly think this dress is to die for in this beautiful, bright orange silky color it is a very low neck once again so i know a lot of girls are deterred by that but this bust line is very nice and cinchable so if you want it to be like pulled in a little bit you can this is also stretchy so it's very comfortable i would really highly recommend this for women who are pregnant it is such a comfortable dress and it's adjustable so i bought a medium just because it fit well. So honestly, I could probably go for a small, but I thought the medium already fit well, and I like the length of it. It's just such a beautiful, flowy piece, and highly, highly recommend. And my last recommendation is not a super puff. Oh, no, no. It is a very comparable rival. It's the Cloud Puff. I love this jacket so much. I bought it during the 
uh, which clientele I bought it during the Black Friday clientele and I didn't think I would love it as much as I do and I honestly at the time when I after I purchased it I was like girl why'd you buy another jacket you will never wear that uh, nope actually I wear it every single day Every single day since I've purchased this jacket, I've worn it. It's a very cute length. This one will definitely go on sale. The Super Puff will most likely not go on sale. Maybe some like strange colors or designs will go on sale, but you'll be safe with the Cloud Puff. My friend Lauren, hey Lauren, she saw that they made a vegan leather one. If you get the vegan leather and the vegan downfilled one, it actually is a dupe of the Nanu Nanushka, Nanushka's vegan oversized coat too. It honestly, the silhouette looks just like it and Lauren pointed that out to me. She's like, hey, it kind of looks like that jacket and I, <laughs> I really do agree with her. I have my eye on the tan, the tan vegan leather one. It looks really cute. Like the black vegan leather looks so Lauren and we were talking about this and the tan vegan leather looks so me. So like both those jackets are so our style. So I'm really eyeing that. I didn't go for it obviously because I already have this one, but I'm really tempted to get that jacket as well. Anyways, those were my top five picks for Boxing Day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have such an influx of Aritzia videos that I am actually backlogged and there's so much more content that is going to come out for you guys because the sale season is here and obviously I'm going to go in store and shop for you guys. So I'm going to make those videos. Bear with me while I get through some stuff. If you see videos in the future that I mentioned like my birthday or even like Christmas season it's probably because I filmed those in advance and I had the intentions of putting them out now but I decided to put up this video before some other videos because I really just wanted to get you guys the info out there make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley you can follow me along maybe I will post some stuff I always post on my stories so that's a really good way of keeping in touch with me and communicating with me but anyways I will see you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye!